whether the source of radiation is natural or man made whether it is in small dose of radiations or large dose there is always some biological effects uh, so here by i am dr sushma will be discussing and uh, summarizing the short and the long term consequences uh, which uh, the ionization radiations may pose to the human body and uh, i will be covering this topic under the following headings first of all starting with the introduction then the mechanism of the uh, damage where i'll be discussing that how the radiations are able to cause the uh, damage inside the human body then the classification of the damage and uh, finally the factors which is affecting the biological effects of various ionizing radiations in the human body so without any delay let's get started you must be familiar with the ionization which is nothing but a process by which an atom or a molecule which may be a biomolecule acquires a negative or positive charge by gaining or losing electrons and this process is in conjunction with the other chemical changes as well the resulting electrically charged atom of molecule is called an ion and thus by ionizing radiations by definition they interact only with the atoms by the process known as ionization and all biological damage uh, effects begin with the consequence of radiation interaction with the atoms forming the cells ionization radiations like x rays and the gamma rays have two mechanism by which they ultimately affect the cells these two mechanisms are commonly called direct and the indirect effects imagine a skilled archer shooting an arrow directly at the target the arrow hits the bullseye causing immediate and direct damage to the target here the archer represents the ionizing radiations arrow represents the ionization particle or photon the target represents the dna molecule and bullseye being hit directly by the arrow represents the dna being directly damaged by the radiations imagine the same archer shooting an arrow into a glass of water sitting next to the target the arrow shatters the glass causing water to splash onto the target the water causes damage to the target indirectly here the archer still represents the ionizing radiations the arrow still represents the ionizing particle or the photon the glass of water represents the water molecule within the cell the shattering glass represents the ionization of the water molecule splashing water represents the free radicals which is created from ionized water the target getting wet and damaged by water represents the dna being damaged by the free radicals if we compare the direct and the indirect radiation effects we can see the direct ionization or the excitation of the cellular molecules is the main mechanism behind the direct effects of the radiations and in the indirect radiation effects it causes the ionization of the water molecules which lead to the production of the free radicals and which may uh, bring uh, further damage to the tissues uh, regarding the direct radiation effects the radiation directly impacts dna and the proteins and in case of the indirect radiation radiation uh, creates free radicals through radiolysis of the water and this radiolysis it produces the free radicals which induce the damage and uh, thus the direct uh, radiations are not dependent on the water but the indirect is strongly dependent on the presence of the water indirect actions the initial interaction of the photon occurs with the water molecule as we have already read and it constitutes about 70% of the mammalian cells and the two third of the biological damage to the mammalian cells from the x rays is due to the indirect action only ionizing radiation initiates a complex series of the chemical changes in the water collectively which is known as the radiolysis of water the ionizing it into hydrogen and hydroxyl free ions free radicals they interact with the biological macromolecules the resulting organic free radicals are unstable and they transform into stable and altered molecules indirect actions are predominant mode of the x ray radiations induced biological damage the initial series of the interaction of the x ray photon with the water the hydroxyl is highly reactive and these altered molecule have the different from their the original one a dna double strand break is the most important damage type 
and it is a detrimental event for cell killing tumor induction and heritable effects of the ionization radiation so now we'll read about the classification of radiation effects on human body uh, on the basis of biological effects time frame and biological structure affected uh, we may categorize uh, the radiation effects uh, there are two fundamental categories of the radiation induced biological effects stochastic and deterministic uh, the chief difference between these two categories is the dose threshold for its occurrence in case of stochastic effects they don't exhibit any dose threshold whereas in deterministic effects uh, they can only be manifested when radiation dose exceeds a certain threshold diagnostic radiation doses place the person at the risk of stochastic effects but not deterministic effects let's make it simpler think stochastic effect like a lottery the more tickets you buy the higher chances are there to win the game but the prize money remains the same regardless of how many tickets you bought uh, similarly uh, when the radiation dose is increase there are more chances of developing the cancer but the severity of the disease it remains same irrespective of the radiation dose we will be discussing the key differences between stochastic and deterministic radiation effects one by one this is a graph which is uh, illustrating the differences between the radiation effects uh, the sto stochastic effects uh, has been shown blue in color and the probability of an effect we can see such as cancer increases with the radiation dose however the severity is independent of the dose represented by increasing the probability curve and uh, the deterministic effect is shown in red color the severity of the effect such as tissue damage increases after a certain threshold dose this is depicted by a flat line at zero before the threshold and increasing line after the threshold indicating that these effects become noticeable only above a certain dose level the dashed vertical line represents the threshold for the deterministic effect below which these effects are unlikely to occur here i have provided you with two tables uh, describing the differences between the stochastic effect and the deterministic effect you may pause the video here and take a screenshot and in nutshell the st stochastic effects are the effects that occur by chance and have no threshold dose probability increases with the dose but the severity is not dose dependent and uh, whether on the other hand uh, the deterministic effects have a threshold dose severity of uh, effect also increases with dose and there is a clear relationship between dose and severity radiation uh, cancers is an example of stochastic defect by skin burns and acute radiation effects is an example of deterministic effect based on the time the acute reactions are immediate or short term responses to radiation exposure occurring shortly after a high dose of radiation is received these effects typically manifest within minutes to weeks of the exposure and often linked to a specific incident or high level exposure while the chronic uh, effects are the long term health consequences that arise from the prolonged or the repeated exposure to the lower dosages of radiation over an extended period of time in the given chart we may see that the bone marrow is affected first by the radiation exposure at very low dose and the central nervous system is typically affected last by the radiation exposure with the acute effect occurring at much higher doses chronic effects of the radiations are gradual onset of symptoms have long duration and often irreversible includes the increased risk of cancer genetic mutation cataracts cardiovascular disease and the other organ specific damage and now uh, we'll read about the third classification of radiation effect is on the basis of effects on the biological cells uh, 
uh, their effects may be somatic and genetic somatic effects refer to the changes that occur in the cells of the body uh, except for the germ cells which are eggs and sperms the effects are typically limited to the individual they do not get passed on to the offspring for example if radiation causes a mutation in person's skin cell it may lead to skin cancer but this mutation won't be inherited by the person's children while on the other side a genetic effect refers to the changes in the dna within germ cells which can be inherited by offspring thus the somatic effects are generally short term or limited to the individual whereas the genetic effects can influence the future generations now we have reached to the final segment of the video where we are going to discuss about the factors affecting the biological effects of the radiations uh, the several factors influence the severity and the type of the radiation effects include dose the amount of the radiation absorbed the rate of the exposure that means how quickly the radiation dose is delivered type of the radiations alpha beta gamma neuron radiations have different properties and effects are also different on the biological tissues and uh, effect is also determined by the individual susceptibility patient's age gender health status and the genetic factors which may affect an individual's response to the radiations biological damage caused by the radiation largely depends on the type of the radiation and it is often quantified using linear energy transfer which measures the energy transfer per unit distance traveled in tissue by the radiations thus uh, the particles of the radiations having higher linear energy transfer they tend to cause more severe localized damage compared to the rays having low linear energy transfer like gamma rays total amount of the radiation energy absorbed by the material is uh, typically measured in units like grays or sieverts uh, as we have already discussed this in uh, the biological effects classification of radiation uh, the dose may be classified into the acute dose or the chronic dose in acute dose a large amount of the radiation received in a short period of time high acute doses can cause severe immediate effects such as radiation sickness organ failure or increased cancer risk chronic dose is a dose uh, where we apply a smaller amount of the radiation received over a longer period of time chronic exposure may lead to the long time effects including increased risk of cancers and the genetic mutations as well apart from the dose the dose rate that means uh, the rate at which the radiation is delivered or absorbed also affects the biological uh, response of uh, tissues to the radiations dose rate is usually measured in the units like grays per hour when it is applied in the high dose rate uh, where we deliver the radiations very quickly it can overwhelm the cellular repair mechanism which may lead to more severe damage typically associated with the greater acute effects uh, the example here is the radiation therapy in cancer treatment often uses the high dose rates to target the tumor in the low dose rate uh, that means the radiation is delivered slowly over a time it allows more time for the dna repair process potentially resulting in less immediate damage long term low dose rate exposure can still lead to significant biological effects including cancer and genetic changes the environmental exposure to the radiations or the occupational exposure in the nuclear industry is an example of low dose rate cell sensitivity depends upon the cell cycle of the cell and also it depends upon the type of the cell the cells are more sensitive to the radiation during g2 and m phase of cell cycle the s phase is the least sensitive phase of the cell cycle bergoni and tribondo they gave a law in 1906 to explain how the different types of the cell body respond to the radiation according to their law uh, they said that cells are more actively dividing and having the high mitotic rate are more sensitive to radiations uh, 
that means the bone marrow cell gastrointestinal lining and the reproductive organs are more susceptible to radiation damage a uh, number uh, two point they stated that the cells that are less differentiated or less specialized are more sensitive to radiation thus the stem cells for example are highly sensitive whereas more specialized cells like neurons are less sensitive based on the law uh, given by bergoni and tribendo kesseret gave a classification to categorize tissues based on their radio sensitivity he divided tissues into four main categories on the basis of radio sensitivity number one is vegetative intermitotic cells these cells are highly radio sensitive because they continuously divide and are indifferentiated the example of uh, vegetative intermitotic cells is stem cells in the bone marrow basal cells of the skin and crypt cells in intestinal lining the second category he gave was uh, uh, differentiating intermitotic cells these cells divide occasionally are somewhat differentiated making them moderately radio sensitive for example the myelocytes in the bone marrow and spermatogonia in the testes they are less sensitive than uh, vegetative intermitotic cells because they are not constantly proliferating number 3 category is reverting post mitotic cells these cells do not normally divide but can do so if necessary such as in response to damage or loss of cells examples are the hepatocytes in the liver and renal tubular cells in kidney these cells are more resistant to radiation compared to uh for a for mentioned uh, categories of the cells now the last category is fixed post mitotic cells these cells do not divide they are highly differentiated are most radio resistant and uh, example includes the neurons in the nervous system cardiac muscle cell and mature red blood cells they are least sensitive to the radiations because they do not proliferate and have specialized function in this chart you can see the cellular sensitivity to radiation from the most sensitive to the least sensitive you can remember it easily with the help of a mnemonic my bone marrow brings lymphocyte early nerve cell last so the most sensitive as per the cellular sensitivity is the mature bone marrow cell and the least sensitive is the liver cell muscle cells regarding the age and the health status of an individual younger individuals in the cells tend to be more sensitive to the radiations the elderly may also be vulnerable because their body has reduced regenerative capacity and uh, the pre existing conditions can alter the cell response to the radiations this chart shows the nutshell of uh, whatever we have described earlier it is the total mechanism of action of radiations on the human body so uh, that was all all for biological effects of radiation on the human body thank you thanks a lot do subscribe the channel and uh, hit the bell icon so you can get the notification uh, very easily whenever i upload a video thank you so much